Sound emission from a loudspeaker physical pendulum. A physical pendulum made of a heavy rod with a length capital L oscillates in the vertical plane with a period of capital T. The angular amplitudes of the oscillation of the pendulum is theta. A loudspeaker emitting sound waves in all directions with a frequency of f is attached to the bottom of the pendulum. A person at the same height as the loudspeaker walks away from the pendulum to the right with a constant speed of u. Find the range of frequencies heard by the person from the loudspeaker. Take the speed of sound in air as v. So this problem is about the Doppler effect. Now we have uh, the rod that is oscillating, making uh, oscillations with amplitude theta here. We will have the instantaneous speed equal to zero at the two endpoints, and it will reach the maximum speed at the bottom, which is the angular frequency omega multiplied with the length of the rod. So I know that the uh, loudspeaker that is attached to the end here will act as the source of the sound waves, and it will have. A maximum speed omega l and uh, in positive in plus i hat direction or minus i hat direction so we will have the speed varying between minus omega l uh, that's the uh, propagation velocity of the uh, sound waves emitted it will be between minus omega l and plus omega l where omega, the angular frequency of the oscillations, is related to the period of the oscillations, 2 pi divided by t. And our observer at the same height with the loudspeaker is uh, moving at a constant speed u away from this uh, physical pendulum. So let's talk about the Doppler shift in the detected frequency when we have the following scenario the minimum uh, source velocity minus omega l so this is when the source is uh, moving away from the observer and the observer is also moving away from the source so this would correspond to the minimum frequency detected detected by the observer so that's f times now using the doppler shift if the frequency is to decrease when the observer is moving away from the source it's going to be v minus u in the numerator and if the frequency is, de is to decrease when the source is moving away from the observer we need to have v plus v, uh, uh, v source uh, which is v plus omega l so we have uh, the minimum possible detected frequency is v minus u over v plus omega l so in this case we will have uh, the minimum frequency detected because uh, the numerator is minimum and the denominator is maximum so source is moving away on the other hand when the source is moving towards the observer we have omega l uh, now the source is moving towards the observer but the observer is still moving away from the source we have the maximum possible frequency detected that is f times uh, as far as the observer goes we have the same effect it will act to decrease the frequency but the source is approaching so the denominator should be uh, minimized and this omega is 2 pi divided by the period that we have to substitute here because omega is not given the period is given therefore i can see that the detected frequency will be f times v minus u propagation speed of sound divided by v plus 2 pi 
of uh, over t times l that's the minimum and the maximum possible value is f times v minus u divided by v minus 2 pi over t omega times l so it will be in this range all right so if you wish you could have said f prime is equal to f times v minus uh, v observer u v minus v source when the source is approaching if the source is approaching with minus omega l so that means the source is moving away you would put a minus minus plus omega l here so um, you could keep this convention and say vs is plus or minus omega l to be substituted into this equation okay so to summarize we have a physical pendulum with a loudspeaker attached to its end uh, it has length L, oscillates in the vertical plane with angle theta, angular amplitude theta, period T. Uh, the loudspeaker is emitting sound waves in all directions with frequency F. And we have a person who is uh, at the same height as the loudspeaker. So this is a point walking away to the right with a constant speed u so uh, it's walking on the x-axis with a constant speed u so uh, with that we can basically say that uh, the uh, source is either approaching the observer or moving away from the observer as it oscillates on this plane so not exactly because it's actually a performing oscillations on the circular arc but that's basically the uh, simplest way to think about it now it has a maximum speed omega l minimum speed uh, zero uh, when when it's performing these oscillations but because it's changing direction we have plus omega l and minus omega l uh, when it's propagating to the left or uh, when it's moving to the left or to the right so uh, the propagation speed of sound uh, we have v in the uh, the speed of sound in air is taken as v and uh, we have uh, this is for the this v is for the oscillator so that's the source uh, source velocity uh, so it's between minus omega l and plus omega l we always have the observer moving away from the source if the observer is moving away from the source the doppler effect tells us that the frequency detected will decrease proportional to v minus u and if the source is approaching uh, the observer, it's going to increase uh, such that it will be 1 over V minus V source, V minus omega L. If the uh, source is moving away, it will decrease V plus omega L. Uh, so why does, the, uh, why does that change? Because when the source is moving uh, towards the observer, the detected wavelength decreases. When it is moving away from the observer, the detected wavelength increases. And as for the observer, when the observer is approaching the source, the detected uh, propagation speed increases. When it is moving away, the detected propagation speed decreases due to Galilean transformation in the non-relativistic limit so we see that we have the detected frequency changing between v minus u over v plus omega l and v minus u over v minus omega l you see that the minimum number is obtained when the denominator is maximum the maximum number is obtained when the denominator is minimum